Hi, boys and girls. Our next story time book is another animal book today, and it is called Out Fox by Mike Twiggy. All righty. I'm excited to buy it. Whoa, we've got a fox. We've got a duck. The duck is looking at the fox. The fox is sort of rolling its eyes. What do you think this book will be about? Make your prediction. All right, are you sure? Is that what you're going with? All right then, let's get started. Outfoxed. Hmm, I wonder what it means to be outfoxed. Fox, outfoxed to me means that you're outwitted because foxes are supposed to, fox are supposed to be really smart. So you might think you're smart and if you're outfoxed, it means Possibly that person was a little bit sharper, or they tricked you. That person tricked you, outfoxed you. I don't know if that's what's going to happen in this. Let's see. A dark night. Pardon me here with my pages. A dark night. Fox breaks into the hen house. Oh no! Burk, burk. Oh, look, he's tearing open the cage, the hen house where the hens are. The roost. The coop, breaking it open. He reaches in, he grabs a chicken. Oh, poor chickens, poor hens squawking up a storm. He stuffs it in his pocket. Fox runs. Just like that. Grabbed it and off he ran. Kind of like, I want a nut. Remember how chipmunk just ran off with the net or mouse ran off with the net? Similar, don't you think? Guard dogs rip his coat, but Fox gets away. Whoa, those guard dogs were after him. Fox was too fast, somehow gets away. Through the woods, are they following me? Off he runs, you think he's gonna get away with it? And back to his den. What I go through for a chicken dinner. Exhausted. Fox pulls chicken out of his pocket. Whoa, you're a duck. Remember he wanted a chicken, not a duck. Maybe that'll be okay. Does Fox feel like a duck dinner? Honestly, I felt more like chicken. But a duck will do. I will think about what duck might be thinking. I will, I'll do. Do you think he wants to be dinner for that fox? No way. Duck sniffs fox's leg. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yuck. You are mistaken, sir. I am not a duck. Not a duck. You think there's some trickery going on? Duck jumps up and down, slobbering on Fox's coat. I am a dog. See? A very friendly dog. Duck jumps up and down and slobbers on Fox some more. Oh, do you get what's going on? He doesn't want to get eaten, so the best way is to trick him into thinking that tricking Fox into thinking that he's a dog. You think you can pull it off? I kind of hope so. We have another book called Dog Rules, and it's about <laughs> acting like a little pup, acting like it's a bird. So that's another book by Jack Kitchak. I pronounced that correctly. Dog Rules. So this one, we've got the dog acting, the duck acting like a dog. Fox is confused. Duck sits, looks adorable. He does look adorable, doesn't he? Hmm, duck wags tail like crazy. <laughs> Don't you love it when you see a dog wagging its tail? That duck sure is trying his best, right? To outfox the fox. Then Fox remembers what his daddy told him when he was little. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Duck barks. Bark, 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 bark. Quack, oops. <laughs> oh, he's starting to sound like a dog, isn't he? I will trick dog. 
If duck swims, I will eat him. Don't swim then, right? Make sure you don't swim. Duck dips one toe in the water. Foxes sly. He heard him talking about that, right? I think swimming should be the last thing you should do. Try to avoid that. Pulls it out. Duck runs into the living room and pees on the carpet. Oh, ornery duck. That is something a dog might do if it's not potty trained, right? Not house trained. Bad dog. Yes, he said dog. I'll be good dog from now on, sir. I will be loyal and obedient and I will be your best friend. I'll sleep on it. He climbs into bed. I might still have you for breakfast. Oh no. Duck lies down next to Fox and eats his socks. I am so glad I'm not a dog. <laughs> Thanks, Duck. I don't think those socks are too tasty, do you? In the morning, Fox wakes up to hot duck breath and a wet face. Look at him licking him, trying to get him to wake up. <laughs> He's still going along with that whole dog thing, doesn't he? We would have a couple more books like that. Wish an animal acts like another animal to trick. Trick someone, little trickster tales. He gives up getting dressed and puts his coat on. Did he have to chew up everything? Come on, doggy, we're going for a walk. Oh, good, where are we going? You are going back. Listen, you're a perfectly fine dog, but you belong on the farm with the other guard dogs. Oh yeah, I'll take him back. And that reminds me of another story we have that's a lot like this. Foxes don't eat dogs and foxes don't have pets. <laughs> and there's Duck acting like he's crying. Whimper, whimper, whimper. You'll be happier back on the farm. Oh! Foxes need sleep. We don't have time to mend socks and clean carpets. I almost think Fox is a little sad about giving Duck up. Get along, little doggy. Do you think the Duck is sad? What do you think? Or do you think he wants to go back? Walking home, Fox thinks, I'm going to miss that little guy. I'm going to miss his sleeping next to me and the way he looks so adorable and I'll miss the way he licked my face. Maybe I should have kept him. Maybe I made a mistake. Ooh. Fox slops down in his favorite chair. He sees something in the corner. That's so sweet. Little doggy laid an egg. <gasps> an egg! No! Dogs, do they lay eggs? No! <gasps> Doggy laid an egg? Oh, that fox. He realizes he's been out foxed by the duck. Look out, duck. Hopefully, if fox goes back, he won't be able to grab duck. Duck will stay far away from the fox, I bet. He outfoxed him. That was certainly a fiction book, right? Fantasy? And was it like your prediction? Maybe you were right. What do you think? Let me know. What you thought about it? Was he outfoxed? Are there any other animal books like that that you like? So we have time for one more. I'm having two in this video. This one is called The Cow Said Nay, a farm story by Rory Feek. Cow Said Nay. Maybe it will remind you of the other two stories. Maybe, maybe not. What's your prediction? A cow said nay. What do you think will happen? Why do you think it's going to happen? What do you think based on the cover? Do you think this is nonfiction, which means real? Or do you think it's fiction? Make believe. Let's find out. A farm story. Inside cover. K. 
Cal said nay. Title page. Here we go. Here we come to start our story. To Indiana. Indiana, that's our state. Did he write it for all of us in the state of Indiana? Is it possible he knows someone from Indiana, someone he loves? Some people are named Indiana. All right, I think it's a pretty cool name. There once was a cow in the barn who could see a horse in a field who ran wild and free. If I were a horse, I could run free all day. And the cow opened his mouth and let out a big neigh. Woo! It's going to freak some people out, won't it? Nay! The horse heard the cow and he looked in the pond at the duck with the bill who swam all day long. If I were a duck, bet they'd stay off my back. And the horse rid back and out came a... Eh? If you said quack, you guessed it. It rhymes, doesn't it? Back rhymes with quack. Wow. Horse. See, he wants to be a duck, so he's quacking like a duck. The duck heard the horse, and he saw the sheep with a big winter coat two inches deep. If I were a sheep, that would be good. And the duck said... Bah! as loud as he could. Can you predict what's going to happen next? Because the sheep is looking at him. Is it possible the sheep's going to be the next one to speak the animal sound? I think you're right. I think you're on to something there. Let's see. The sheep heard the duck and he looked at the pig using his nose in the deep mud to dig. If I were a pig, I could dig with my snout. And the sheep opened his mouth and an oink came out. And there's that pig kind of rolling his eyes like what, as if to say, what did I just hear? So the next speaker is, you guessed it if you said the pig. The pig heard the sheep and he looked in the yard at the dog on the porch who proudly stood guard. If I were a dog, I bet I could be tough. And the pig wiggled his tail and he let out a ruff. I love how the dog's tilting his head as if, what did I just hear? The dog heard the pig and he looked in the house at the cat on the rug that was chasing a mouse. If I were a cat, I'd be inside right now. And the dog opened his mouth and let out a meow. And that rhymes with now, doesn't it? And wow, what hurt him? So the cat heard the dog. Cat's the next speaker. The cat heard the dog and he left the mouse there and looked at the farmer asleep in his chair. If I were a man, oh, the places I'd go. And then the cat purred and let out a hello. Now the man is asleep. Maybe he didn't hear the cat or maybe he did. The farmer opened his eyes when he heard the cat and he thought to himself, did I really hear that? Then he walked to the barn and he opened the door. He heard some more things he'd not heard before. The cow said, nay, and the horse said, quack. And the duck said, bah, and the sheep oinked back. Whew, it's all messed up all over the place, isn't it? The pig said, ruff, and the dog said, meow. If the dog were to say quack, it'd be like the last book we read, right? That fox, as the cat and the farmer stood by the cow, Then the farmer smiled. What else could he do but open his mouth and let out a big, what rhymes with, let's read this again. Then the farmer smiled. What else could he do but open his mouth and let out a big, moo, moo. That rhymes with do. Let me hear your best moo. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> I can't compete with that one. Nice. And... What a wacky story. You think they'll ever get it put back, the voices in their heads right, the correct manner? Hmm, it's up to you. What do you think? I think we were right when we said fiction, fantasy. 
animal book, isn't it? Definitely. But a fiction, a make-believe book. We've read three animal books today. I would love to hear from you. Which one was your favorite and why? And did your predictions come true? Were you off? Were you right on? I would love for you to tell me about it. All righty. And so and if I don't hear from you by email, next time you see me, let me know which one was your favorite. All right, Greyhounds, you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Adios.